think clearing your browser history at three in the morning or viewing in incognito mode means no one will ever know what sites you visited, think again. Your internet service provider is also tracking that history. I'm Matt Mitchell, a hacker and security researcher at Raven Security. Congress struck down rules preventing ISPs from selling this data in early 2017. And even though it was heavily reported, a lot of people out there still don't know that their internet service provider can sell their data and they don't know how to respond to this. There are a few different programs you can use to keep your browsing history private and anonymous. Tor Browser basically has a VPN base built inside of it. No one can see the history of where you're going anymore or pay for a reputable virtual private network. You connect to that, right, and once you connect to the internet, and now no one sees where you're going. They know that you maybe use two gigabytes of data, but they don't know what site you went to, they don't know what time you went there, anything like that. If your stuff is recorded by a corporation, for example, Google, there's a website, myactivity.google.com. It's everything Google has on you. Every search you've ever written, every YouTube video you've ever looked at, and you can delete this activity. You can look at your location history and you can delete that too. So if you go to maps.google.com slash location history, that page will either have nothing or everywhere you've been every day, every second since you've maybe set up a Google account or had your phone. You can request that stuff gets removed. Now, of course, there's gonna be a backup of that data. That's why it's important to clean up your digital footprint as soon as possible. After you've made your last insecure phone call or sent your last insecure text and you finally get that clean slate, from that day on, as long as you're consistent about these security practices, you'll be able to rest much easier.